Ever wanted to watch some of your favourite football teams be represented in an esports competition on FIFA 17? Well, now you can. The Celtic Esports League begins on January the 16th. And to celebrate this, sponsors Sportigo put together a knockout tournament featuring all the sides taking part. The Sportigo Celtic Esports Cup. And how about one more of the best matches from the tournament? This was the third place playoff between Crusaders, who are playing as Manchester United, and Wolverhampton Wanderers, playing as Tottenham Hotspur. Crusaders were represented by Nathan Dodds and Wolverhampton Wanderers by former Wolves player Rohan Ricketts. A quarter of an hour into the match and Crusaders had the first real chance, Wayne Rooney shooting wide. A few minutes later though, Crusaders were 1-0 ahead, Paul Pogba squaring it to Zlatan Ibrahimovic in the 24th minute. Wolves almost equalised straight from kickoff, however, Harry Kane shot it straight at De Gea. Wolves could have equalised from the resulting corner as well, but Dembele's header went over. In a pretty end to end game, Paul Pogba's free kick with 15 minutes of the first half left was deflected by Lloris. The end of the first half was pretty much all Crusaders, Wayne Rooney having a chance saved by Lloris as well. In injury time, all the pressure paid off as some intricate passing led to Rashford squaring to Rooney to score a very similar goal to the first one. The second half began well for Wolves, with Eric Lamella running into the box and being taken out by Daly Blind. Penalty. Harry Kane took the responsibility and scored with ease on 51 minutes. Paul Pogba had another free kick, but once again, Hugo Lloris was equal to it. In the 76th minute, Wolves were almost able to bring it back to 2-2. Unfortunately for them though, Deli Ali's header was a bit too soft. Into the last 10 minutes and Crusaders made their victory safe. Paul Pogba with a glorious header on 84 minutes. Pogba had another chance a few moments later to extend Crusaders lead to 4-1. Unfortunately for him though, Hugo Lloris got his fingertips to it. Wolves were unable to mount a comeback in the time remaining and Crusaders snagged that third place with a 3-1 win. The Celtic Esports League brings together eight sides from across the UK and Ireland, all vying for the big prize and if you want to see more, don't you worry because the league starts on the 16th of January 2017 and all matches will be broadcast live on their Twitch channel CESL. You can also follow them on Twitter at Celtic underscore esports, like them on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Celtic esports and all the information will be on CelticEsportsLeague.com.